three different systems I use for pulling boats off. Um, I've got a boat pinned here, basically against my swing, uh, and all the water has pushed it against the boat here. Um, and what's managed to happen is I managed to get out, I managed to get my swim line, and I managed to pull it all the way to the side. So I've taken my swim line all the way across, back over to land. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to very quickly wrap it around something. Twenty meters of line here, so it's quite, quite long. But the good news is, with the line, it's strong, so it will take any weight on the boat, which is great. So I've taken my swim line to the bank, and what I'm going to do is literally just get as many people as I can to pull on the rope. Um, and as I pull on the rope, I can also pull it in this way. So if I can heave on it, oh, pull it off, get a bit of slack. If I've got lots of people, I'll get them all pulling on the rope here. If that's not budging, one of the options I've got is to tie this end off. What I would do is use, I'd use a no knot around here. So I'd literally wrap it around the tree um, about four or five times. Just because I've got so much rope here, I'm just gonna do this on the bite just to get rid of some of the slack here. And then I'm just gonna literally half itch it off just so it definitely doesn't come undone. So what I've got here now is a line towards the boat. Uh, so I'm gonna put a vector onto that. And that generally works quite well if you've got a sling or a throw line, depending on where the bank access is. And I'm literally just gonna pull on this. And that's gonna pull the boat potentially off. And what you'll find is when you get to a certain point with a vector, it won't produce the same amount of power by pulling the boat off. So once I get to about here, it probably won't do any more. So what I need to redo is I need to go back up to this point and just pull in a little bit of the slack. So I'm just gonna pull some of that through. So this bit, there we go, there we go. Wrap it around. Just so I get the line as tight as I can again go back to my vector and then pull on it again. So with this, this is a really good effective way of basically pulling the boat off. If that doesn't work, the next option you can go to is to go into various different configurations of systems. So our boat is still pinned up against here. Um, we've taken a rope back from the boat, which was the swim line, back to an anchor. Um, we've tried pulling on it, we've tried putting a vector on it. So now we're going to put a four to one system on that hopefully we can reset. So I swim the line back again. And I've taken it back to my solid anchor here, which has been tied off with a, a no knot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another system on top of this um, so I can keep pulling the slack in on this rope basically. So what I need to do is get a, another sling, which I've tied two overhand knots. Always put two knots in just to stop this knot from slipping. Uh, and this is going to go round as an anchor. And you'll find with an anchor, if you don't want them to drop down, the best thing to do is to wrap them around just a couple of times. And when you do that, you'll find that they tend to stay put a little bit more. So I've got that there. And I'm going to use a, a HMS carabiner, which is a screw gate, and that's going to go onto there. So what I need to do now is I need to put a prusik onto this. Um, we've basically got some prusik cord here. I'm literally just going to wrap it around as neatly as I can get it. And with this, if I just join those two bits together, that will work as like a French prusik. If I put this end through the other end, and pull it backwards that will turn into a clem heist uh, and this tends to grab the rope a little bit tighter the idea is it will pull the rope tight this way but you can release it and slide it back down the opposite direction so I'm just going to add that onto there hopefully that'll do the job what I'm then going to do is I'm going to get another separate line and this is going to clip with the rope onto this and I'm going to use a pulley on this one so literally I'm just going to put the pulley onto the rope, put that on, like so, and screw that up. So I just put pulley on there with the rope. So what's going to happen with this end is this end is going to go all the way up to here. I'm not going to bother with a pulley on this end. I'm literally just going to put it straight through. And then this end here is going to go back to the bag, and I am going to put a pulley on that one. So again, another pulley there. And that's going to go through the rope. Through this screw in. 
carving bit here. The idea then is that I've got a system here, which is a four to one system, which I can adjust up and down. I can pull on it and it will pull tight on the prusset, which means that this line here will start to go slack. So I can just pull on this, it will start to pull the boat. Now what you can find with this, if you, if you put a pulley on here, it will probably slide through. And what I've found before is sometimes this will slip. So a way of getting rid of that issue is to basically just add another loop around the carabiner. Okay. And that will just add a little bit more friction onto it, but you can still adjust it. So just got that loop there. So I can still adjust it, but it just adds that extra bit of friction. So I'll just pull that, pull that, pull that. And what you'll find with this is once you get to a certain point, um, you can pull it, and then if you need to reset it, what will happen then is we'll need to redo the no knot, which is here. I'm just going to pull that one tight. And then that will then take all the resistance. And what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to slide that prusset back down this board here. So if I can, I'm just going to loosen that off. I'm just going to slide it back down, back down, back down. One of the things with this system here is if you find that you're not quite getting enough pull on this, is you can put a vector onto this one as well. So what I do is I literally just get that as tight as I can. I'm going to do another little no knot around here. Obviously you can use other things as well. I'm just going to half hitch it off just because I'm on my own at the moment. And with this line here, if I put another vector onto that, and pull on that, and just put a little bit more on that. I take it back in again, retighten that, pull on it again, and it'll only get to about this point um, before it doesn't really have that much efficiency over it. So you need to try and get it as tight as you can on here. Okay. Just get that nice and tight first. Slide that off. Now obviously if you've got lots of people you can have someone holding that. Then back to here again, just give it another bit of a pull. And you might just find that extra little bit of vector on there might just give it enough to basically pull the boat off. There we go.